Hi, I'm here to talk to you about a problem that is occurring right now as we speak in the southern tip of Australia, one of the natural wonders of the world. As stated by the Australian Institute of Marine Science, they observed three different causes of calcification of the Great Barrier Reef from 1985 till now. National Geographic stated that divers who surveyed out of Cape York off of the northern tip of Australia said that 50% of the Great Barrier Reef had died off, has calcified. This coral bleaching has been part of a trend which in the past two years, 12% of coral reefs have been bleached. National Geographic also stated is leading to the longest global coral bleaching event in history. Interviewed by Michael Slezak and how the diver Richard Viviers said it was one of the most disgusting sights I've ever seen. And, quote, the hard corals were dead and covered in algae, looking like they had been dead for years. The soft corals were still dying, and the flesh of the animal was decomposing and dripping off the reef structure. In National Geographic and the Guardian, it is said that the Australian government has issued a level 3 response, increasing the survey, which covers 133,000 miles of the Australian coastline. The death of a coral reef isn't just affecting the coral reef itself, it's affecting the ecosystem and the animals around it as well. Fish that feed on the coral reef die or move away. The bigger fish that feed on the littler fish move away too. This doesn't stop there. This also affects the birds that live around it that feed on the bigger fish. This then also affects the plant life on the island as well that thrive from the bird droppings as well. Many scientists are saying it's too late to save it. It all comes down to a change, the climate change, and also the acidification. The Great Barrier Reef needs our help. We are the only organism that has the means and the intelligence to help our coral reefs. Thank you.